What's going on guys, King Trats here, back from the video on the channel, and today, brand new place, I've never tried it before, heard things about it, had to do it, let's go, we have a nice little sampler going on from Burger Eam, yes, it is pronounced Burger Eam, people have said Burger Eam, but I actually looked it up, and I asked the employees, it's Burger Eam, what Burger Eam is actually, is Hebrew for many burgers, so it is an Israeli fast food chain. I just found all this out today. This is all news to me. Figured the more you know. <laughs> so that's informative stuff for today. But let me give you the rundown. Of course, I got to pour my stuff in my... And Oh, I also want to give a little update on this. Number one, I had these ice cubes in here for about six hours. And they're still intact. Which still baffles me. Which is really awesome. And number two, I said that I was getting the gallon. And I absolutely am getting the gallon. But I screwed up in the fact that I had it sent to the post office and I have not had a chance to get over there before it closes every single day. Hopefully this week I will be able to get over there and get my gallon. I love this thing, but for me, I'm a big dude. I drink a lot of liquids and I need a bigger container because this is the 21 ounce. Very good if you're a person who drinks 21 ounces at a time, but I constantly have to find myself pouring, re-pouring. You've probably seen it in my other mukbangs me doing that. But other than that, I'm a huge fan of it. Now, um, the link is in the description if you want to get one yourself with a discount code, 10% off, as well as a giveaway that also is going on. But let me get into these because I am super, super excited. Okay, let me give you the rundown. We have six, but I only put three in here. I'm not eating everything, of course. Uh, honey, oh no, six spicy garlic wings. I had to get those. You know, I'm a wing addict. They're breaded. They do look good. Onion rings, of course, they look super country, crunchy, crunchy. We can't speak today. I'm too excited and I'm drooling too much. These are their fries, which obviously are more closer to what we would call chips. Here in other countries, they would call these crisps, but they're round and fried. They do look crunchy and really good. There's a ranch going on underneath here, which I already opened. You can't see that. This right here is called a cowboy burger. It has American cheese. Let me take this wrapper off. There you go. American cheese, bacon, onion rings, barbecue sauce. You know what that reminds me of, right? <laughs> if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of Burger King Rodeo Burger. So this is like the third pound, not a quarter pound, third pound version of that same thing. Fresh made, looking forward to that. And they do sliders, so I did a duo just to try two different things. So let me give you a quick what's what. These are not cheeseburgers. They're not beef, I should say. This one is actually a lamb burger, which is why it looks like that. Sauteed onions, a spicy aioli, habanero aioli, and a fried egg on here. No cheese. And I have a crispy chicken with cheddar. Hey, where you going? Where you going? Don't, because I'm, I'm taking it off and you know how that goes. Look, we'll just make do. Crispy chicken. You see the jalapenos. You see the spicy aioli, habanero aioli on this as well. Or this is the chipotle aioli. I'm sorry. And cheddar cheese on a crispy chicken sandwich. <sighs> it's a mouthful. This looks like a mouthful. You know where I'm going to start. I bet you thought the burger, right? Nope. I am a huge onion ring fan. I have to try these. I have to spill ranch all over your face because that's what we do here every single time. So ranch in the onion ring. I'm actually going to try it without it first because I'm going to break my own rule, but got to go raw dog. No condiments first bite. Be crunchy. You hear it. Crispy. Good onion taste. Look in here real quick. You can see there's a full onion in there as well, which I really like. You can tell these are actually handmade. Mmm. Oh yeah, just done right. Onion rings, it's all about the breading. Making sure that onion's nice and soft in the middle. Making sure we got good breading. And making sure it's nice and crunchy. Decent amount of seasoning. You don't want to do it too crazy because you want to let the onion shine through. In my opinion, that is top notch. That is a good onion ring. Nice and crunchy. Don't like soggy onion rings. And they did it right. Now we can go to our burger. Like I said, this is the cowboy. Bacon, American cheese, onion ring. It's on the bottom. You can't see it. Let me just, let's get in here real quick. Can you see that? Probably not. Here, let me turn this around for y'all. See you now? Onion ring on the bottom. Cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce. This is like a homemade rodeo burger. And very big fan of this. If you're familiar with potato buns, that is a potato bun. Oh, man. I love a good burger. I've been dying for a burger. Haven't had one in a while. Good crispy bacon. 
onion ring still has a good crunch to it. <clears throat> Barbecue sauce is nice and sweet. Cancels out that sauciness of the burger and the bacon. Mmm. Bacon's nicely done. Still got crunch to it. I don't like soggy bacon as well. And you can see here, nice toast on the potato bread. It looks like you might have put it inside of like a press of some sort because it's got a nice golden brown hue to it. Potato bread is up there, one of my favorite kinds of bread they have. And they did not skimp on the bacon. Lots of bacon on here. Mmm. It's a good burger. I have to admit. True story. I didn't know where to get a burger from today. And I went through Grubhub in the area. And I had walked past this place many times. But I never thought about eating <laughs> to be surprised for some reason. Now I gotta go through the lineup probably. Burger's still juicy. Even though they don't ask you how you want it done. It is cooked medium well about. But it's still very juicy. Which I love. Good salty bacon. Not onion ring just... Mmm. Mm. No complaint there. That is a good burger. I'm so interested. Fried eggs on burgers were my favorite things to do. Let me explain to you how it works if you're unfamiliar. What you can do at this place, and this is all new to me, so I'm just figuring I'll give you the rundown. You ask for either a duo or a trio of sliders. This is the duo. You can get whatever kind of meat you want. They have about five or six different kinds of them. They have beef, grilled chicken, crispy chicken, lamb, which I did get, falafel, impossible, and there's a vegan, another vegan. I think it was like B, B, I can't remember. Uh, but there's a vegan option as well. You can choose different condiments, different toppings, so they're fully customizable. I made these myself. They're not menu items at all. You can pick whatever you want as well. Really, I wanted to try the lamb and the nice grilled onions. I love sauteed onions. And fried eggs on burgers is just one of my favorite things. I don't know if they're going to do runny yolk, though, to be honest. But also that aioli on here, chipotle aioli. The lamb is good. Very juicy. You can taste it right away. If you're familiar with lamb meat, lamb chops, I get it right away. But you get that nice sweet from the sauteed onions. And, of course, that egg. It's not runny. I do like a runny egg. Probably my only gripe that I have, but this one's done on a white bun, a burger rind bun. I think good onions too. Juicy lamb. The aioli is not too overpowering. You get it. You get the chipotle in there, but it's not dripping or anything. They do a good job with their condiments from what I'm noticing where they're not soaking anything in it. And they're letting the meat kind of shine through when you get burgers. No matter what kind of burger, that's what you want. A good burger, everything else should complement the burger. And it's a good job as far as doing the complement and not just making it all about the sauce, all about the toppings. But cool cool idea with the customizable options. And very good meat, for sure. Mm. That egg is very good too. It's not runny, but it's definitely not hard. So it's still got enough. A bite to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see me looking at this burger. I love lamb chops. I know they have tzatziki and tahini. So you can add that to it too. I want to try the falafel burger because I heard they had that too. So this is this is always my opening salvo. You know I when I get to a new place, I like to run down the menu. And this is kind of my thing. I do want to try this. Nice. Crispy chicken. Love fresh jalapenos on my burgers. Love good cheddar cheese. Habanero aioli. Should be nice and spicy. Oh man, look at that crispy chicken. Look at this. So good, nice piece of crispy chicken. That is a breast. It is a full piece of chicken breast. It's not skimpy or anything like that. And you can see I have melted Swiss on here as well. Where is this cheddar? Did I get both? No, that's the aioli. Yes, that's the aioli. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's habanero. For sure. So I got Swiss on this one, habanero. I don't have my receipt with me, and I kind of just... Excuse me. When I try something new, I always tend to just... I go ham. I start clicking things, and 
I forget, and I always forget my receipt because when I smell food, I just forget what I'm doing. But without further ado, this is the goodbye right here. Nucleus time. Good, fresh jalapeno. Get the crunch right away. The habanero aioli. Oh, this is my favorite so far. Habanero aioli. Nice and spicy. Nice and flavorful. Good complement to the cheese. And then the last bit. Mmm. Of that crunch. From that breast. What I mean when I say it's my favorite, the habanero aioli is my favorite. Not necessarily the crispy chicken. But I think I could build a nice burger using that with those jalapenos. Great spice to it. And the cheese. Oh, yeah. I'm going to build a burger next time with that aioli, for sure. My favorite one so far because I like spicy food. But I wanted to have a good, you know, amount of difference between what I was eating. I didn't want to just get habaneros or, jal or jalapenos on everything. But definitely narrowing it down. If you're a spicy food person, see this, that bite? See this bite? That's the bite right here. Nice. Mm. Look at it, look Mm-hmm. Not my favorite. That aioli is slam dunk. Oh my goodness. I'm like I'm leaving the bite. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the bite, right? Yeah, right. Mm. Mm hmm That was the one. All very good. But that aioli just you can put that on anything. You know I gotta have that palate cleanser. Let's dig into a fry. I'm saving the wings for last, as you can tell. Let's dig into a... They call them fries. Obviously, they look like chips. You know I had to drift for one time for your mind. Good crunch. They do have a potato chip feel to them. But you can see, if you look up close, there's a nice thickness to it. So it's definitely thicker than a potato chip. But they still have a crunch to them. Nothing crazy with the seasoning. Just a little bit of salt. You try one, no condiments, of course. They're good. Different from your normal fry, which I like. Not too much potato, which I like. The only problem with them is, as I say before, you've got LeBron on the court. Onion rings are goaded. But other than that, I would definitely... This one's going to be good, Lucas. Just salt, a little pepper, that's it, simply seasoned, just a solid, good, crispy fry, and last, last, crispy garlic wings. I love garlic, I love wings, this is a match made in heaven for you, boy. This is the moment of truth. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. I get the honey. I get the sweet. I get the garlic. It's a sticky, a sticky sauce. Mm. One more, one more, one more. I say breaded wings are in a different genre than your traditional bone-in wing. I consider this more towards a fried chicken, but the sweet on here, it reminds me almost of like Chinese food wings. When you get, a, like you ever go to a Chinese spot and you get like, you know, General Tso's wings or I don't know what kind of Chinese food places you have, but I'm not just talking about the regular fried wing, but a lot of places will serve almost like a the ones that have the sesame chicken sauce, but they put them on bone-in wings. I don't know what kind of Chinese food spots you guys are dealing with, but they have them here. Let me get a little ranch on here. A little dunkage. A little Tim Dunn. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the bite. What are we saying? You know the vibes? A little more. One more drip for you. I've never been a big ranch guy. But recently, ranch just adds an extra something to the wing. I have to admit that. It's that creamy buttermilk. 
and go with that sweet, sticky. Mmm. I can eat like 20 of those. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Yes. All around, yes. I'm definitely going to go back to this place and try some different stuff. I probably should have got a bigger container because these onion rings are nice, big, big dog onion rings. Look at the crunch though. I didn't look at the wing flavors. I wonder if they have lemon pepper. <laughs> I love lemon pepper now. All right, fam, let me give you the wrap-up. I want to catch the rest of this basketball game. NBA Finals are on. You know, I got people in there. But I suggest you do the duos. Do the duos, try different combinations, or get a trio, try different combinations. This is a big burger, and it's a very meaty burger, and it's a very good burger. Mm. That bacon. Let me see what I can do. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a very high probability this is turkey bacon. Yes, it is. I eat turkey bacon. I like it. But that is turkey bacon, which makes sense. There hasn't been anything. Pork. Understandable. No problem for me. They put a nice crisp on it still, and it's meaty. And they give you... There's about four slices of bacon on here as well. And although it is good, I suggest you do a duo or a trio so you can try all the different combinations. If you're like me, variety and trying different things is the best thing. And this is a third pound burger. Third of a pound. They have quarter pounders and third pounders. So if you get that one, you're kind of constricted if you don't have a giant appetite like your boy. And then you're not going to get to try everything. So I would have never gotten to try that habanero aioli, which I absolutely love. The fries, very good. Nice crunch, nice chew still with the potato, not too much. A little bit of salt. I don't know if they have any more condiments. I would like a little more condiments with my fries. Onion rings, very much up there with the best. Crispy. They've been in this box, the grub tub delivered, still crunchy. That just goes to show you, when you had them when they first came out, they're probably even better. Because, listen... They do it right. Anybody who likes onion rings, you know. A lot of places, once they get in that box, they get soggy. They did not. Wings, again, don't compare them to wings like the bone, bone in, which is supposed to be breaded. More like a fried chicken. In that case, nice, sticky, sweet garlic I'm getting in there. Very good. All in all, they got a fan in me, and I'm going back. I'm gonna mango, I'm gonna habanero my life. I know they have pineapple and other things they can put on your burger, so I'm gonna go crazy next time I get a trio. We're gonna do another one, longer one, more convos, more chilling. This was kind of just a review and chill out, show you guys, vibe a little bit, so I can go back, hang out with my friends, but we'll be back soon. You know there's content every day on the channel. If you dig the content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you wanna see. I live in an area where I'm fortunate there's a lot of different food places around, and I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I've been doing major franchises and I'm working my way. So don't worry about it. There's going to be a lot of content coming from me, your boy, King Strats. I'll be back. More content tomorrow. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.